I took uh, Florida to win the game and Tennessee to cover the number, and uh, I think it'll be a close game because I think they both have been average. Uh, I've always had the theory that if, and people don't like it or not, it's fine with me. If you get two average football teams, it's usually, you know, or two bad teams, it's usually a good game. I don't think they're bad. I think they're average. I think the uh, Vols fans are getting ahead of themselves because they're, you know, two and one or whatever, and they're, they're getting all worked up and lathered up. The thing with me is, is that they look to be, uh, you know, they didn't beat anybody. So th this is their first real game where they're actually playing someone instead of all this candy-ass schedule that they had. And, you know, they're not winning those games. Uh, but they are winning games against nobody. So let's see them beat somebody that's on their par, on their level, in the SEC, in Knoxville. It's going to be a great game. And, uh, you know, I think it'll be just like, you know, the old times between these two. I think Mullen's turning things in the right direction in Gainesville. They lost the game, and everybody wanted to, you know, hang the guy. And I just, you know, I take things a little more reasonably when it comes to, you know, guys that just got the job three months ago. You know, all these guys that want to fire coaches after one loss, and they just got the guy. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Uh, you just got Pruitt, too. Let's give him time to suck, if you will. You need at least uh, a window of a few years. you got, you got to stop with all this changing coaches every year. It's starting to make you guys look ridiculous.